find yourself at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're still working and you forget time, <laughs> you lose track of time, then you know that it's something you're passionate about. Well, I actually just started started as a hobby, really just you know, taking classes one, one night a week um, from my, a Greek teacher, Konstantinos Papadakis, on, up in Minneapolis. And I think within about a month, I just knew that if I could do this for a living, that I would. And uh, I had just fallen in love with it. So I... Um, I pretty much decided that I thought, well, whatever I can do to um, to make it happen, I was going to do this for a living, and that was 20 years ago. So and after 20 years, I still love it, and I still get to wake up in the morning and say, "Oh, goody!" I get to carve. Now it's it's definitely um, it's definitely a dying art, and it's, uh, it's sad to see that. You know, there there are a few people out there who um, who do it full time, do carving full time, but very few. I'd say um, I probably know I can can count on one hand how many people actually carve full time in the country, and so you may have to go. Um, overseas really to find some of the European carvers, the master carvers, um, European trained, and even that is hard to find now. That's, that's sort of disappearing, the, the ones who have actually gone through the apprenticeship program, the traditional European apprenticeship, like seven years and all that. Yeah, this is going to be for a keystone. Uh, this is carved in mahogany, and the particular client that I have wants a real particular mood and that is actually what makes the uh, carving faces so difficult is when there's a particular mood that you're trying to find or if you're actually having to carve something that looks like a particular person. So um, the mood that they want is very sort of regal and classic and so I'm, uh, I'm sort of working through this. Um, actually probably have done this um, well, this is probably about the tenth um, adjustment um, after visiting with the client and working on it so sometimes you can go back and forth and back and forth and really um, try to try to get it right but uh, the customer is always correct 